So do you want to understand why you should definitely check a CPU when you buy it, regardless if it's um, AMD or Intel? You should always check it in the way that I'm going to show you in this clip now. You check that out and make sure your CPU is like that, because if it is like that, then you're good if it's the right way. And if it's not the wrong way, then you obviously need to send it back. But anyway, check that clip out, which I'm going to show you. Roll the clip. So, uh, obviously, when you get your hold of your computer, you want to build it and everything like that. Well, here's a tip. If your CPU, which you can't tell there because I've whacked it off and uh, I'm a bit annoyed by that. But what I can show you is on the radiator right here. Bling. This is where this was on. Contact onto the CPU. Now, if your CPU is a little bit rounded off, that means that the thermal grease or thermal compound will not spread evenly over the CPU when you apply pressure through the retention screws. So when you get your CPU, of any CPU, so it could be a Ryzen, it could be 2666 uh, yeah, 26, CPU, it could be 1151, 1150, could be Ryzen CPU, it could be any CPU. Just make sure that it's not rounded off at the top. Some people that are professionals will normally fold the top, but that will avoid your warranty. So what you would want to do is grab your CPU and see if you can spin it on the table. If it actually spins on the table, that means that the CPU is not gonna be giving you idle cooling. Because what will happen is, it'll be like a pyramid, but a very small pyramid. The top bit will be the, the pointy bit, and then the other bits will be like the flatter bits, which means it will not sit right. So you know what it's like with a, a pyramid, it's kind of uh, pivots on the, the top and then it moves around the edges like so. So what it means is that you need to make sure that CPU is nice and flat. So when you get the CPU and you spin it and it just goes and it kind of makes a scraping noise on a nice table, that means that it's nicely fl fully flush, it's flat on the even sides. But um, if it's got the point, then it will keep spinning and spinning and spinning like a fidget spinner. And you don't want that CPU, so you want to take it back and say it's got like a little warp in the middle. And um, that's what the warranty covers you for and all this sort of stuff. And obviously, what will happen if you're impatient and you put the CPU on and everything like that, what will happen is that thermal, um, thermalin will start to heat up on the CPU and you won't get the proper performance. So if you buy a 9900K like I've got here, that means that you're only going to get the performance of like um, 8600K or something like that. It depends on what the components you've got, but just for instance, that's what will happen. You will not get the proper performance. And if you go to overclock it, it will just be giving you problems. And you won't know what's happening. So that is a tip. If your CPU is completely flush, it's a good CPU. If it's not, if it's got a pivot, like a little point in the middle, I don't mean you'll actually see a point, but you have to turn the CPU over and spin it. And if it spins for about half a second to a second, it means it's good. If it spins, it keeps spinning like a freaking uh, fidget spinner, that means that it's no good and you need to send it back and get another replacement. So just a top tip right there for you guys. Yeah, so with a CPU, if it does that, then make sure you get you, you just send it back as soon as possible. Don't leave it for ages and ages. You might have, uh, go past your warranty, and um, not your warranty, but it might. Yeah, if it goes past your warranty, then you've got to send it off to Intel, and you've got to wait for a CPU and all that real long replacement. But you know what? Sometimes it's quite hard because if you send off the CPU, and it's within the return policy, say like an overclockers or Novatech or Scan or something like that then technically they could go, right, I'm going to send it off to the manufacturer and you still have to wait. But technically, the quicker you go and the quicker you act, the quicker it can be done. So if your CPU is spinning like that, make sure you send it back. If it's not, then you've got a good CPU and you'll have the thermal compound or thermal grease right over the surface will be evenly distributed and it means better performance and optimised cooling. Anyway, if you like that video, subscribe, share, follow me on all social media platforms. Thanks for watching, Roger and out.